Hello guys, uh, welcome back. Uh, my name is Edison and in my today's tutorial I'll be showing you how to interface the 4x4 keypad uh, to your STM32 MCU or uh, any development board. And uh, before that, uh, before you create a project, I'll explain to you how uh, the keypad works. And uh, this is uh, the keypad, the 4x4 keypad. And uh, the keypad is arranged in four rows and four columns. And uh, as you can see, the rows uh, run from one to A, four to B, seven to C, and uh, star to D. Then the columns run from uh, uh, 1 to star 2 to 0 3 to hash and a uh, b c at uh, to d so basically this is how i have renamed my my uh figure and you can see the the pins for the keypad and uh we have this one as the first uh the first row that is row zero and then row 2, row 3, row 4, then column 0, column 1, column 2, column 3. So how this keypad works is that uh, when you uh, uh, set a uh, column 0 high, this is the column, when you set all, uh, all this column high, then you press a uh, button uh, 1, then you scan through the rows, you find that uh, row zero is high so first thing that you want to do is set either the rows as input or the rows or the columns as output so in my case i will configure the rows as inputs and the columns as output so if i configure the columns as output and write uh, a high to column zero then uh press seven and then the, the code will scan through the rows to see which pin is raised high so if uh, pin seven is raised high it will return a character seven so i have created a very simple library for this and uh, uh it has only one function and i'll, I'll show you as uh, we go on so the first thing i want to do is uh, create a uh, a new project so i'll go to board selector and select the board that i'm using i'm using 466ra then uh click the board and start project so you can initialize uh, their default mode or not so the first thing i want to do is uh clear the pinouts so that you can configure them and uh, so go to system core rcc enable the high speed clock and the low speed clock uh, so. then uh, i go to connectivity and uh, enable you search to uh, for debugging purposes So 9600 as a board rate. Then from there, I will configure pin P5 as our output. So this is connected to the green LED, uh, which is on our board. So then from there, I want to configure the pins for the keypad. So and the way I'll configure these pins make sure that you use the same uh, naming convection and uh, uh, from here it's been uh, d3 to d10 uh, as our keypad pins and i'll use d10 uh, that is d7 to d10 our as our input uh, pins that is for row zero to row three, then I use D six uh, to D three as our output. That is for the column uh, pins. So 
let's get started so the first pin i want to enable is uh pb6 which is d10 as our input so i label this as k r capital k r0 then uh from pb6 i go to pc7 as our input and uh, use uh, k row 1 k r1 then p a9 input k r2 then uh, p a8 as our input oh, k uh, 3 so this simply stands for k uh, keypad row 0 uh, keypad row 1 row 2 and uh, row 3 so i want also to configure the pins for the uh, columns so we have keypad column 0 this one will be our output column a keypad column zero then pb4 output and this is a keypad column one then pb5 as output this is for keypad column uh two and then pb3 is output then keypad column 3 so we have all the pins for our keypad and uh, from there uh, we shall go to system call and uh, go to gpio and conf and uh, enable the pull down resistors for the inputs So these are the inputs. So we can we enable the pull down resistors. That is for the row uh, pins, the keypad row pins. And then we are going to start to generate. We go to project manager, give it a name, a uh, keypad four by four. YouTube tutorial and then I'll be using Cario Vision or uh, then you generate the code so uh, we're going to open project So uh, then uh, I'll copy the two library files to a project. So my project is in a document, CubeMX. And uh, these are project, go to core, source. I'll copy them here. Can also move these to header file to include folder so then from there I go back to our project so the first thing I want to do is include the uh, keypad dot h uh, library file then I'll go to application and add existing files to the group I'll go to my project, uh, go to project folder, then you build the code.
so the code has zero errors and zero warnings so i'll open the dot c so in the dot c we only have this function to get the key which is pressed and i have this global variable uh, for storing the key it is a character so and at the end of this uh, function after every key press we are returning the key and uh, when you press uh, in the button you will toggle the green led connected to pin uh, 5 so uh, so let's come here and uh, uh, declare variables the first variable i want to declare is our uh, external character key is because it is defined in the .c file and uh, we want uh, another character I'll say hold so to have four and uh, then we can we come here to our main uh, function in the while loop between the user code begin three you shall have uh, you shall get the key is equals to get key we call the function there and then want to use printf then store the value in hold and uh, we only have a character so we can print a new line then key so then I use uh, hal you at transmit so that you can monitor the key pressed uh, through a serial monitor h you at to and uh, the data pointer is u int 8 t and uh, we want to set hold and uh, the length of the buffer is a string length of uh, hold and then uh, timeout so that you can finish your uh, transmitting transmitting is 100 so uh, let's come here and include uh, uh, several header files so include stdio dot h include a string string dot h then I include stdlib dot h so then build the code and see whether we have any error zero errors and zero warnings and uh, let's now uh, flash uh, download the code to flash memory and then we had reset or uh, you can also use the debugger I'm going to add uh, this key to our watch watch one and let's now run the code so I'm going to press one so you can see we have one I'm going to press two uh, three a four five six b seven eight 
nine C star zero hash N D. We can also view this uh, through a serial monitor. So uh, this is a small demonstration of uh, the keypad. So I'll press and you shall look at the <coughs> serial uh, terminal that is Teleterm. So one, two, three, A, four, five, six, B, seven, eight, nine, C, star, zero, hash, D. And you can even press two. You can see, uh, five, six, so that's it uh, thank you for following up with me and uh, this is a success I'll see you in the next tutorial don't forget to subscribe share or even like so next time I'll be coming to you with uh, using the keypad and also the LCD I'll combine the two so that now when you press uh, the key you'll uh, be able to see it using uh, you'll be able to print it to a uh, LCD so thank you so much